do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now host on Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS2 game tutorial today. I'm gonna show you how to play your games from PS2, flash drive, or a thumb drive, any thumb drive that you plug into PS2 that is modded, fat or slim, using Freebie Boot and OPL. And how does this work? So, in past tutorials, just as a recap, in past tutorials, there's a program called USB Extreme. And we would use this program to rip your games and convert them into, into the appropriate format for your external USB hard drive. So like for example, if I go to my computer here, my thumb drive is the letter D. But if I go into USB Extreme, um, hard drive section here, letter D is not showing. How do I get my thumb drive to show up on here? Well, the bottom answer is you don't. So we don't need this program for USB thumb drives and I'll show you a different way of doing this. So what you wanna do is go to your computer, plug in your thumb drive, to go ahead, right click your thumb drive, go to format, and just make sure it is the FAT32 format. I already did that, so we're good to go. Let me go into the thumb drive here and I'll show you the file structure. So ultimately, you need a CD and a DVD folder. I don't have any CD games at the moment, but if I did, I would put them in there. And then in the DVD folder, you would have your ISOs. So just a recap, how do you get your ISO of your PS2 game? So let's say, for example, that you had a PS2 disc insert in your computer. So if you want to make an ISO out of it, if you open up a program like DVD Decryptor, or you could use a program like ImageBird, but if you're using DVD Decryptor, just go to Mode, ISO, Read Mode, click on this button, and it's gonna rip the ISO to your computer. Once you have done that, go ahead, take that ISO file, and put it on your USB thumb drive in the DVD folder. 99.9% .9 of the time, your PS2 game is most likely going to be a DVD image, not a CD image. So. Let's go ahead and do that. I read that earlier today. And one thing you want to do is you want to rename the file format in the in the very specific file format for OPL to read it. So how does this work? So here, let me go over the structure. The first half of the file name is like this SLUS nomenclature, right? How do you even know what these numbers are to begin with? So if you mounted your ISO virtually using like a daemon tools or a virtual clone drive, or you had your actual disk inserted in your computer, um, disk drive, what you want to do is just go into the file contents of that disk and look for the file name that says SLUS underscore and there's going to be some digits here. So copy that. So we go back here. So that's what I did. SLUS underscore 217.20 dot. And here you type in the name of your ISO, whatever you want to call it. I decided to call it Arcana underscore heart underscore two dot ISO. I can do, you know, name whatever I want to. And then also I had this other game here, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So you sort of see that the file structure is very, very similar, okay? And then after you have done that, every time you add a new game into like your CD or DVD folder, every time you do that, you're going to have to defrag your thumb drive. And this is the part that really sucks because it's gonna take a while to defrag a thumb drive when compared to a USB external hard drive. So one program I like to use it's called Smart Defrag 3. And what you want to do is go ahead, insert your thumb drive. And then what you want to do is um, go here, go click on the Analyze button. And then it's going to analyze your, your thumb drive. And ideally, it's going to say zero fragments. Fragmentation rate 0%, which is great. But if it is fragmented, then what you want to do is basically click on the Defrag button here. And then click on like um, Defrag and Fast Optimize is what I do. And it's gonna take like half an hour, an hour, depending on how many games you got on your thumb drive, of course. And then once all is said and done, you can insert it in your PS2 and you're ready to rock and roll and have a lot of good times. If your game is uh, fragmented and when you insert it in your PS2, it may get stuck on like those flashing colors when you first start the game. So it's very important to defrag your thumb drive um, even though logic says you're not supposed to defrag your thumb drives because it will decrease the length of your thumb drive long term, you got no choice here. And if you're on a budget and you only got a 4 gig, 8 gig, 32 gig thumb drive, then what's that is exactly what you got to do. So, so that's what you got to do. And then that's pretty much it. So to recap, get an ISO, take that ISO file, put it on your FAT32 thumb drive in the DVD folder, rename that ISO properly, and then defrag that uh, thumb drive and you're good to go. So with that said, let's go straight to my TV and show you living proof of this booting and it's a lot of good times, let's do this. All right, in this portion of the video tutorial, I'm gonna show you proof of loading the games from the USB thumb drive. So here's my PS2 Slim, it's running Free Boot 1.94, so let's do this. So let's go back to the TV here, go down to OPL, and let me show you a, a real quick, uh, night, neat trick that I did with my OPL settings. So if I press the Start button, go to Settings, 
go to settings, press X. What I like to do is I like to have the USB device start mode as a, a manual. So just press X, make sure that manual is selected. And then when I go to default menu, I just make sure that USB games is selected, press OK, click on save, changes, and then you're good to go and press circle. So now we just press X and it's going to recognize my games off the USB thumb drive. That's awesome. So I got two games here and I'm going to go ahead and play the second game, which is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. If your thumb drive is fragmented or defrag properly, for example, then you're going to get flashing colors. It's going to bypass this and then you're going to have a lot of good times. So one thing I do want to note is um, obviously using USB external hard drives is the best. But if you're on a budget and you only got thumb drives, then that's the second best alternative. All right, sweet. So we got, I'm going to go ahead to the main menu here. Just going to go ahead and try to get into the game real quick here, show you some quick performance. All right. All right, let's do this. So anyways, we can clearly see that the game works fine using a PS2 thumb drive. So if you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.